Hello, this is Minder Chen. I'm a professor of management information system at Martin V. Smith School of Business and Economics at California State University Channel Island. And in this video segment, we're going to talk about um, entrepreneurship and entrepreneur. And specifically, we are going to talk about some of the characteristics of successful entrepreneurs. Entrepreneur is a person who engage in entrepreneurship. Uh, in a previous lecture, we talked about what is considered so-called entrepreneurship. And um, entrepreneur usually has an insane perseverance in face of total rejection or failure. Uh, they tend to be vision-driven, driven by their vision about opportunity and some emerging market and trend. Um, they're, they're very good in, um, at perceiving new business opportunity. Um, they often exhibit positive bias in their perceptions, um, a bias towards finding new possibility and seeing a met, a met market need. And they tend to be a risk takers. Um, however, if, if I may add, they are they tend to be um, taking a calculated risk. Um, so in this attitude, uh, make them more likely to explore the opportunity uh, by starting or expanding an existing business. Uh, to put it simply, entrepreneurs uh, get customer. Uh, they need. They are able to find customer uh, certainly through their product and services. Uh, they do create jobs. Uh, remember, we mentioned that at least in the U.S., I believe it's sixty some percentage of new job creation are through um, small, medium-sized business, which tends to be new business, um, and they are the growth engine for a lot of economy in the world. Um, they're not the same as inventor we mentioned that um, they they are the thinker but they're more like a doer who are they are they take actions um, they're more action oriented and in terms of economic growth uh, they're not the carts uh, they are the horses that are leading the growth engine in an economy so uh, in uh, in the book called entrepreneur um, strength finder by Jim uh, Clifton and his colleague. Uh, Clifton is the CEO of Gallup, who conduct a lot of um, survey around the world. Um, he believed that essential um, the innovation is is the key to economic growth is not uh, correct. It is supposed to be the entrepreneurship that is the key to growth. Innovation is the cart. Um, the entrepreneurship is the horse that pull the carts forward and it creates uh, customers and values uh, from any in invention and innovation that occurred in our um, society. And there's a growing trend that uh, younger people are engaged in entrepreneurship, probably inspired by a lot of successful young entrepreneurs like Facebook CEO, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, um, etc. Um, according to Gallup study, 7 out of 10 high school students uh, want to start their own business um, down the road. Doesn't mean that they want to start the business after high school right away. And uh, over Two thousand two year and four years college and university offered uh, entrepreneurship courses. Um, at CI, uh, we do offer entre entrepreneurship course in our business curriculum. Successful entrepreneurs, um, they have the passion for business. Uh, they're very focused on the product and customer uh, on both ends. And they're very um, serious and take the execution seriously. So they have, um, they know how to implement things. Um, they have the tenacity uh, despite value. So they are, um, they can tough it out uh, in while facing value. 
And if you look at one research by Kaufman Foundation um, that a lot of people start their business after they gain several years of experience in the business world. Uh, here, uh, 42%, the highest percentage, has about 10 plus years of experience. Um, and uh, the other uh, 58% uh, has less than 10 years experience. So experience uh, certainly counts. This kind of rough diagram just showing you that uh, people start the business probably not as young as a lot of people may think, uh, but not um, t when they're 50. Uh, certainly they are exception on both ends. Uh, they probably somewhere in the middle, uh, 30, 40 somethings. And for young people, they, they're very flexible. Uh, they don't need a lot of money to kind of support themselves. Um, and once you're in the 30, 40, you may have a family. So when you have a family, there's, um, there, there's a mortgage and, and kids um, that cost you a lot. Uh, so take the risk of starting your business, leaving a comfortable job can be difficult. However, people who are um, a little bit older uh, has more uh, experience that accumulated, which can be beneficial. So in some research find that uh, people uh, start the business um, maybe because of some situational uh, factors, uh, because they were out of job, they have to start a job on their own, to, and etc. instead of um, based on their personality. The different type of entrepreneurs, uh, one is a uh, survival entrepreneur who basically just start a business in order to survive. And social entrepreneur who start a business uh, to solve a social problem for social cost. And serial entrepreneur, they, they really love to create companies. So they start one company after the other. They may not have a lot of interest in running a more mature company. A lifestyle entrepreneur are the one who own a very small business with about 5 to 25 employees. And they can control their own destiny, and it's probably a family business, and they can make comfortable income to support themselves and be their own boss. Um, the last one is what we're focusing on in this course is called high growth venture entrepreneur. Uh, they are they're characterized by a founder with bold vision and maybe highly skilled technical ability. Uh, they're willing to take big risk and willing to bring on partners, uh, which include investors, co-founders, and to make their mission a reality. Um, they can generate really high returns uh, for their investor and can generate thousands of jobs. Uh, Paul Graham, which is, uh, who is the founder of Y Combinator, uh, has wrote a piece called Startup Equal to Growth. Uh, basically promote this so-called high growth venture uh, entrepreneur. And so, however, um, Professor uh, Eisenberg from Harvard um, kind of alert us that focusing too much on startup creation and, and can be as dangerous focusing too much on the growth. And in this slide, we're going to talk about kind of as an entrepreneur, um, I believe that um, when you start a company, it's not really just a job or even career. It's hopefully it's your calling. So what's the difference between a job and a career and calling? Um, a job is basically what pays uh, your bill. Um, it, it pays well, so you can pay your bill. Uh, a career, usually you have some uh, skill set which you're really good at and you can kind of get promoted. Um, that's career. And the calling uh, is what you love. So ideally, you want your job to be your career and your career is really your calling. Uh, uh, another way to look at it here is that the job, for instance, uh, you just do it for the money, uh, from work nine to five, just for the money, that's the job. 
if a career is a place when you work, uh, you can get advanced and then promote it. Um, so you have a long term career perspective. A calling is really just intrinsically, they're very fulfilling for you to do what you love to do. So here are a few questions for you to kind of chew on. Uh, one is that are entrepreneurs born or made? And what are the personality traits of entrepreneurs? Um, and also think about who are your role model as an entrepreneur and, and why and what you may learn from them. Uh, we probably will have an individual assignment for you to work on um, uh, write up write up a case of entrepreneur that you consider as your role model, which can be a local entrepreneurs that you know, or based on some literatures uh, of some famous entrepreneur that you admire. And also ask what motivate you to become entrepreneurs? Uh, is it just for the money? Um, and do you want to be entrepreneur? Uh, and why? And what type of business are you most interested in getting in if you want to start your own business? And by the way, you can take an entrepreneurial personality profile test here um, at, at this site. Uh, you're encouraged to take a look at it. And in Gallup, they have something called entrepreneurial profile uh, methodology. Um, and they kind of categorized um, entrepreneur based on some of their talent uh, or personality, like they're risk taker, they're competent, they're building, re they're very good in building relationship, they're very business focused, and they're very creative in their thinking. Their behavior is they they're very tolerant of value. Um, they uh, kind of focus on control, control their own destiny. Uh, they're willing to experiment um, some of their idea and they're highly aware of um, the social trends and they can think um, from a business perspective and can set goal and try to achieve it and be able to create ideas as needed. And through this talent behavior, um, they can recognize opportunities, start adventures, uh, have gain access to resources and building trust, uh, eventually um, result in profitability of a business, which may even disrupt the market. So here are 10 talents of successful entrepreneurs based on the Gallup's um, kind of strengths um, finders research. And in their research, somewhat they found that five in a thousand has an aptitude for starting and growing a business. So that doesn't really mean nature trumps nurtured, um, but it tends to be um, leaning more towards the nature part in terms of people who have an aptitude for starting a business. But uh, we can nurture someone who are interested in starting a business to by giving them uh, some of the tool and method that uh, can increase their successful rate in starting a business. So the 10 talents are business focused, confident, creative thinker, they can delegate uh, they are delegators, uh, they have the determination, they're independent, they're knowledge seeker, they're the promoter, the relationship builder, and the risk taker. So in the following few slides, we're going to kind of quickly go through this 10. You can basically study the slide yourself um, if you wish. Business focus, profit oriented, and they establish clear goal and objective and measure their progress towards the goal. And they judge the value of an opportunity um, based on its effect on business. They invest time in planning on uh, the growth strategy. And they also be able to align employees responsibly with the company's growth um, goals. Confident. They're confident in themselves. They're confident in uh, the people. They build trust and invest in their own people. And 
they can align employees' activity with their individual strengths and leading to the business growth. And by the way, this is all from a book called Entrepreneurial uh, Strengths Finders. Successful entrepreneurs are creative thinkers. They can imagine beyond the boundary of what exists now. Uh, they explore options and can think their way through problem. Uh, that thinking through is important. You can think through the problem before you do it. And they're constantly thinking of creating new product or services uh, for their customer. Um, they have the mind that are typical firing with many different ideas. Um, but if you're this type and you need to be a little bit careful you, you're, um, that you don't lose the focus just because you have too many ideas to pursue. And they're, they're curious and they're a really quick learner. They know how to delegate. Uh, they focus on the important things and they therefore they need to be able to collaborate with others um, be able to draw other people's specialty to help him out um, and make sure everybody in the team in the founding team are can effectively contributing to the building of the company they have the determination um, kind of persistence um, perseverance um, it's basically talking about the same thing so they um, they are persistent and undeterred by value and or the roadblocks. Uh, That's really one of the distinct characteristics of successful entrepreneur. They're relatively independent. Um, they do depend on others to get job done, but they do have a strong sense of responsibility and taking on multiple tasks and be, be able to do it successfully. And they are resolute. Um, they have a high level of competence in every aspect of a managing a business. They're knowledge seeker. They seek knowledge. Um, they seek data. They seek information, knowledge uh, in order to deal with the situations. And so they immerse themselves uh, to acquire in-depth information. Uh, to know the business, to have that domain knowledge that's important. Um, sometimes they get their hands dirty to kind of get a true experience, not just the book knowledge. And they have a preoccupation with their business that border on obsessions. Um, they can anticipate the knowledge needs um, and then use knowledge and apply them well. They are the so-called promoter. Uh, they are a great communicator. They can communicate the uh, value propositions, their business values, convince not just the customer but the investors, etc. So they have a clear kind of growth strategy in their mind in terms of how they will build up the company. They're good relationship builders. Uh, so they have high social awareness. Um, they can. Um, attract and maintain a, a constituency, um, the customer, the strategic partners. Um, they can use the relationship talent um, to access um, internal or external resources. Okay, Use your relationship to tap into the resources, human resource or financial resources. They can forge a relationship with employee, customer, strategic partner, and they go beyond the work or products or services. And they have a positive ap attitude and personal, personal integrity that help to build trust. Trust is very important in the relationship building um, aspect. Last but not the least is their risk taker. They show a strong personality, are charismatic and confidence. Um, they show enthusiasm and emotion in taking on challenge. They're, um, they have highly optimistic perception of risk. They see, um, they see risk as an opportunity to some extent. Uh, they can easily make decisions in a very complex situation. Uh, they can easily establish emotional connection with customer. They're more likely to understand what the customers need, which is really important and share new ideas with customer and are more likely to exceed customer expectation by willing to take the risk to do more for the customers. 
So that's kind of a little bit of um, some of the characteristic uh, for successful entrepreneurs. Um, and think about your own personality and to see whether you um, uh, you match some of the um, attribute that we have described here. Uh, nobody will kind of match this 10 uh, attribute perfectly. Um, you may be um, um, good at risk taking, but may not, may not be good at knowledge seeking. Um, but I think as long as you have several attributes, uh, you may be qualified as a success, potential successful entrepreneurs. Okay, that's all. Um, thank you for um, watching um, this lectures. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.